We've been seeing how if we create bundles of 10, we can make our calculations with numbers so much easier. We are going to do one more thing with this, which is to look at adding 9 and adding 11 using 10 as a bridge to get them. So let's see how we do this. What I have over here is I have got, well, let's make it yours. You've got 32 little blue dots over there. And what I want to do is see, well, what would happen if I say 32 plus 10? Well, that's easy. It's saying, give me 10. So I can take a bundle of 10, give it to you. And what you have now is quite obviously 10, 20, 30, 42. In other words, your answer there is 42. And that shouldn't have given you any trouble. OK, let's get ourselves back to 32. Now, in this case, you've got 32 and I want to just give you nine more dots. So I must give you nine more dots. OK. Well, what I'm going to do to make it easier is instead of having to count out nine individual dots, what I'm going to do is take this ten, these ten dots across, right? And I'm going to say, OK, I'll give you ten dots, but that's too much. I was only meant to give you nine. So if I give you ten dots, you have to give me one back. And so what is your answer? It is 41. Because when I did 32 plus 9, what I said was, I have 32. I'm going to give you 10 more. That gets me to 42. But you've got to give me one back because I was only meant to give you 9. So it is 41. OK. Let's get ourselves back to 32 and deal with the next one. All right. If we're dealing with, oh, didn't mean to move that. Uh, if we're dealing with 32 minus 10, that's quite nice and easy. What we've got is we've got 32 and take away 10, take away the 10. What have you got left? You're only left with 22 in this case. OK, let's restore it. You got 32. Now, in this case, this time, I only want you to give me nine of your dots. Now, obviously, you can go and count out nine and give them to me. But how's this for a trick? You need to give me nine dots. So you need to give me nine of them. So you, let's instead say, OK, let's make it easy. You give me ten dots. So you've given me ten. You've given me one too many. So I must give you one back. And so how many have you got left? You've got twenty-three. Let's just recap how that works. You had 32. You needed to give me 9. You gave me 10 instead, which left you with 22. But you gave me one too many, so I must give you one back. So you have 23 left. OK, let's look at another one, and we'll go through this one a little bit more quickly. 44 plus 10, well, you've got your 44 over here, plus 10 means I must hand over a 10, and that should be no problem to see that what you've got is 54. Now, what happens when I want to do 44 plus, 44 plus 9? Well, what happens there? I'm going to, instead of counting out 9 individually, give you 10. Well, that makes it up to 54. But I wasn't meant to give you 10. I was only meant to give you 9. So you must give me 1 back. And so you've got 54. 1 less. You've got 53. Very quick and easy. All right, let's deal with the subtraction. 44 take away, oh, let's make it 44. 44 take away 10 means that you're going to give me 10 of yours. And so obviously you're left with 34 of them. What about 44 minus 9? Well, there's your 44. To take away 9, let's say you're going to got to give me 9. Well, let's say you give me 10. You've given me 1 too many, so I must give you 1 back. And so what you're left with is 35. OK, let's see how we can do some of that on a number line. For example, if we wanted to have do 44 plus 9 on the number line, what we could do here is we could say, OK, we start at 44. And just like we've done with the, we did with the little dots, what we're really going to do is we're going to add on 10, because that's an easy jump. We know 44 plus 10, 54. We can count up in 10s easily. But we weren't meant to go up by 10. We were only meant to go up by 9. So we drop back 1, and we get to 53 as our answer very quickly and easily. 
Okay, I want you to give these a try now. If, um, you've got a space in your homework book to do it, so take a pause on the video and do them, and then we'll quickly go over them together. Okay, let's just check your answers here. 52 plus 10, 52 plus 10 takes us to 62. 52 plus 9, well, 52 plus 9, you go 52 plus 10, drop back 1, so you have 61 as your answer. 52 minus 10, you take a straight jump back of 10, which gives you to 42. And so what happens when you've got 52 minus 9? Well, you go take your jump back of 10, but you've jumped back one too many, so you must come forward to 43. Okay, 11 is even easier, right? We've seen 32 plus 10 is 42. So what will 32 plus 11 be? It's very simple, right? You add on your 10, which gets you to 42. You put one more because you had to do 11, not 10. So you get 43. Go back. Let's go back to our 32. All right, we, we saw earlier 32 minus 10 gives you 22. Let's look at 32 minus 11. Well, 32 minus 11, we're first going to take 10 away, and then we're going to take one more away, and so we're left with 21. Let's see how that plays out nicely on a number line. Say we wanted to do an example like 44 plus 11. Well, there we would start at 44. We're going to jump up. 11 well let's go a first jump of 10 that'll take us to 54 and then one more will go up to 55. I want you to try quickly for yourself now the following pause the video and do these answers in your homework book okay let's go through these very quickly 55 plus 10 you should have got 65 55 plus 11 well you'll be from 55 to oopsie 55 to 65 is your jump of 10, and then one more because you must make it 11, so it's 66. And then we have 55 minus 10, that we know will take us to 45. And if we had to do minus 11, well, we've taken our jump from 55 down to 45, that's 10 down, and we need to go one more down, so we'll get 45. Four. Cool. 